hi everyone. Okay, my name is uh, Hilmi, uh, Hilmi Harun. But most of my friends call me with my nickname, Mimi. <coughs> so, uh, and my student also, uh, usually they call me Mimi lah, okay. Uh, I'm one of the certified Microsoft trainer like uh, my other friend in Seafood Time, which is uh, we have been teaching uh, for quite some time times. Uh, for me, uh, I start uh, doing training since uh, 2007. So uh, today is my session, okay. Uh, actually, this is my second time in Seafood Time. Uh, I will share to you, uh, with you, uh, how to fix uh, data source formatting in uh, mail merge using uh, Microsoft Word. All right, so let me share my screen first. All right, so. Okay, let, let's start with the first one. All right, so my topic today is uh, how to fix the uh, formatting of data source in mail merge field. All right, so first of all, you need to understand what is the mail merge. So mail merge is a Microsoft tool that can help you or allow you to uh, modify uh, one part or a few parts of document with a data, a unique data elements. Okay, for example, let's say, uh, Let's say you want to send uh, 50 uh, invitation, you want to send invitation to 50%. Okay, rather than you just copy and paste, uh, because uh, from my experience, uh, when we conduct a training, a lot of participants ask me how to do it in a simple way. Okay, for example, they just they will copy and paste the address, will copy and paste uh, the names. Let's say if 50% means they will copy 50 times. So uh, Microsoft Word with a mail merge function will help you uh, to simplify your words by the automate the process. Okay, how does uh, mail merge works? Okay, you need to think, uh, you need to understand uh, two things in mail merge. Okay, first part is a document. You need to have a document or you need to create the document. Your document, it can be a letter, envelopes, or certificates, uh, labels, uh, or invoices. So you need to prepare the document first. Okay, so all these documents, okay, for example, letters, you will send to the 50 person or 50 people means you need your data source so your data source it can be uh, coming from microsoft excel or it can be coming from your word table okay or access okay microsoft access or other database so this is the two things that is very important in mail merge so uh, how does it work Basically, mail merge will combine, okay, mail merge will combine your document, okay, this is the first part, your document, and then combine with your data source. So, if when you combine these two elements, uh, you will see uh, Microsoft Word will generate the document automatically. All right, so let me share uh, my words document example. Okay, this is the example. Uh, okay, let's see. I will zoom in a bit. Okay, I want to create uh, my my stuff, uh, personal information, all right, uh, for individual stuff. From here, um, I will put names, okay, IC number, staff, and other details. So this is my uh, first part, is the document. Okay, in this document, I will merge with my data, okay, data source that coming from Excel. Okay, how, do, how does the data source look like? Okay, let me share my 
view from the Excel. Okay, this is my data in Excel. This is my data source from Excel. Right. For example, okay, I have a uh, number, staff ID, names, uh, email, IC, and other details. <clears throat> All right. So if you see from my example, my data source, okay, let's see uh, row number three. Okay, Juliana Binti Muhammad Jalal. Okay, my setting. Okay, font setting, okay, you can see we, I have a capital letters, I have a mix of uh, element here. Okay, this one is a small letter, capital letter, this one is mixed. So it doesn't matter. Uh, this is what, uh, what are the example that I want to show it to you. And then I have a contact number that I have set with uh, leading zero. In the front, okay, you can see from Excel, I already set this one and then did join. And another one is salary with a currency symbol, which is, I already set this one. Okay. <clears throat> Using uh, my format is now is accounting. Okay, you can see my currency setting here, currency symbol. All right. So if you look at, at this one, the concept here is we need to combine the first element is our document and also our data. Right now, I only have one page, okay? One page of the document, my main document. All right. I will click on the mailing. Okay, if you see on the mailing part. All right. Okay. For mail merge okay actually you can complete your, your mail merge process in less than a uh, 10 step right by uh, using the mail merge wizard right you can click from here step by step mail merge wizard but i'm going to jump straight forward to uh, step number three actually which is i directly uh, combine my data with my uh, document, right? So, from here, right, I will click on the select recipients. I will zoom for you, right? And then I can type a new list if I, I didn't have any uh, data yet, or you can use an existing list because uh, usually you always keep your data in Microsoft Word table or Microsoft Excel. So you just can use the data, right? Okay, use an Excel list, just click Excel list and then na navigate to the document that you save. Okay, for example, I already save uh, this document, okay? Uh, demo stuff list inside my demo folder, right? So please observe before I um, combine this uh, data and also my document, all the icon or all the commands uh, inside write and insert field group, a preview result has been disabled. Okay, it's not activated yet until I combine, right? So I will choose a demo stuff list. So this is my data source, right? This is my data source and then I will click open. All right, if you can see, from my data source, I have sheet A, list, sorry, list A for the sheet one, list B for the sheet, uh, actually number two, and this one is a sheet number three, actually. So uh, I'm gonna use a list A, sheet list A. I will click list A, and then you need to make sure that your first row of data uh, has been ticked. Okay, why? Because we want to make sure that our first row of data 
will be our column header. If you didn't take this one, what will happen in your insert merge field here, uh, you will see column one, column two and so on, right? Then I will click OK. All right. So if you can see from here, uh, elements or commands in a write and insert field group has been enabled. Okay. You will see number, staff ID, names and so on. Okay. It depends on how many columns that I have in Excel. So for the first one, I will use my data field here name. I just click name and then next one will be IC number. The third one will be staff ID. And then the next one will be a contact number, position, and then your grade email okay let me fill up this one first and the last one is did join where is did join okay here right so what happened here this is will be my my main document all right if you can see uh, on the next group preview result, okay, I can see my output, okay. Just click preview result, okay. From my first list is Jaria Binti Harun, okay. All the data will be uh, extracted to my document. So this one will be my first document. And then I can click next, 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 step, until at the end of the data, Okay, data number 12, right? So this is the last one. So, coming back for the first one, right? Can you see any um, something different or something weird here? Okay, if you notice for the contact number, Okay, for the contact number for Jaria, it should start from zero. This is the uh, most frequently asked question from the participant when uh, I do the session for Microsoft Word. So how to bring the zero in front of number one? Okay, so we can do a, a little bit amendment in our merge field coding actually. Right, so... You, now you can notice that the, the, the first one, okay, here, okay, all zeros are missing. Okay, so I, we will fix this one. Okay, the second one is if you notice your salary, okay, salary, current salary appear without a currency symbol. Okay, this is the second one. The third one, the third one will be our okay, name, right? If you look at the second one, okay, this is a small letter. So we want after we complete merge the document, all the names should be in uh, all capital letters, right? So, right? And the last one will be our date joining. Lah. I will change the format into other format. Okay. Right. So I will minimize uh, the Excel document first. Okay. Let's focus on our Microsoft, Microsoft Word. Okay. <clears throat> the first one. Okay. Let's start with the first one name okay so how to change okay i back to 
our merge field, right? So you can use a shortcut key. So what is the sh shortcut key? Anyone knows how, what is the shortcut key to enter our merge field? Okay, to change our merge field coding. Anyone? Okay. Uh, you can use uh, alternate F9 or, okay, I always use uh, right click because this is the fastest one for me, okay. And then you can click toggle field codes. Just click toggle field codes. So from here, you will see um, merge field coding and we need to amend a little bit to make sure that all names will be appeared in all capital letters. All right. So let me show you the slide. Okay, the explanation for this one first. All right. So how the switch works uh, in text mail merge. If you want to change uh, your word result into all capital letters, okay, you need to amend on the last part here. Okay, backslash, star, upper. So that one is the switch. Okay. To have a lower case word result, okay, you just use backslash, star, and lower. Right, let's, so let, let's try. Okay, I'm back to word. Right, so merge field name. And then I have space here backslash okay not forward slash eh? backslash followed by star and then i will change to all names into capital letter okay so your switch doesn't matter uh you want to use capital letter or small letter okay it's not a case sensitive right once you're done right once you're done you can right click and then Okay, update field. Click preview. You will see the first one, Jaria, is a capital letter. Second one, Juliana, now you become capital letters. If you are still remember, okay, Juliana is an, uh, not in a same format as Jaria. Okay, and then the fourth one is Mazlan. Just click next, next, right? So all looks good for the name. Okay, we move to the next one. Okay, the first one is complete. Okay, uh, if you want to change to small letter or in Excel to change from capital to lower, so we have a proper lower, okay, commands, right? But in Microsoft Word, if you want to change to a proper arrangement, okay, you can use not proper, eh? is a caps. Update, review. So this is caps. Okay, I change back to capital letter. So upper, right? Okay, the next one. The next one will be what uh, my contact number. Okay, so our contact number here consists of eleven. Sorry, it's not eleven. It's yes, eleven digits, right? Eleven digits. So I need to change a little bit at contact number. This is a preview result. Okay. Contact number. So what is the switch that we're going to use for numbers? Okay. To display a, a numeric switch. Eh? Okay. Starting with backslash. Right. And then hatch. Okay. How many digits we have? 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, let's see. Is it work or not? 
update yeah right so now it become uh, 11 digit it will display 11, 11 sorry 11 digit right if you check right everything is good now okay next one next one we will change our format here because in excel in our data field okay column current uh, current salary has, has been set as accounting with uh, ringgit malaysia currency symbol so we will change for the uh, current salary right so back to our mail merge uh, view toggle field codes all right for the numbers okay so we will start with backslash right and then uh, if you want to have currency symbol let's say uh, ringgit malaysia and then you will put the switch for rm for ringgit malaysia and then if you want to have a decimal number okay two decimal number so you will change the format right let's say i just want to have a rounded whole number okay let's say okay i start with this one first rm okay start with okay uh, since we have thousand here so i will put a comma as a separator and then followed by zero right let's see preview right my ringgit measure is doesn't come out okay let me try one more time okay sorry i missed the hatch in front of rm okay that's why ringgit measure didn't appear right update fill yeah now it's coming display as a ringgit malaysia 2500 okay if you see from the first one the first list okay we have uh, 2575 cents means we need another two decimal number right so i will edit the field sorry i will change a little bit okay you can put as a dot okay point zero zero to bring two decimal number okay let's update so you will see two thousand uh 500 for fauzi but for for the first record is 2575 cents for jaria okay okay just keep checking so everything looks fine All right so the last part okay at the last part okay for the date okay if you look at my data here my format for the date is uh, starting from date, month, and year. But in Excel, I'm uh, sorry, in Microsoft Word, okay, it's appear as a different format. Okay, start from month, date, and also the last one will be year. So I will change into a format that I want. Just right click, toggle field, okay, date join. So for the